Welcome back to the channel. And I'll start with, this isn't a review, yet a response vid to Super Steel Steve's uploads, or really his last in particular. And I'm not gonna share the regular night footage, so just bear with me, spice things up a bit. I'm choosing to speak on this situation, the slicey dicey situation, for a few valid reasons. One being that I was recently in a crazy situation where a designer, who solely off his personal feelings, decided to lie to the public, believing that people know his brand and no one really knows me. So under the David and Goliath premise, embedding on the people, community, his own customers even, to be so stupid and mindless as to just go along with his accusations, no questions asked, and condemn me to being a petty thief. No, I didn't roll over and lay down, and I didn't stop uploading. Instead, I spoke up and I spoke out for what I know is right, because the uncontested lie will eventually become the truth to the masses, if it's really the only info out there people have to go off of. So I'm going to salute Steve for speaking up unfiltered because the truth is the strongest weapon, accurate information. And as in my case, once I spoke the real truth, no new model period has come out. Only the truth came out. And we can all speculate, but I believe the truth rang out loud and clear in addition to altering things. And also salute to Red Wolf EDC, a guy who doesn't know me from a can of dry paint, but respected himself and people enough not to just listen to what someone else says without looking into the situation himself first. And exactly what Steve spoke about halfsies, that maker would only tell a little of the truth. And I say that because these lies still affect me and my channel. Last week, the Sky Guy known from Metal Complex, amazing channel by the way, and this has nothing to do with MC at all. So all respect to him. But that Scott character, I found him on Instagram and offered to buy a knife from him that I wanted. And he replied, yes. So me being honest, I replied and said who I was. And I'm guessing he looked at my profile and then replied, I changed my mind. So I wrote back and then he replied, I don't do business with thieves. And then said, you're blocked. But Scott, you're such an old dinosaur and not that tech savvy. I blocked you first. <laughs> That's funny. Weirdo. But pause, pause for a minute. You let a grown man tell you something about another grown man and with no reason, evidence, or knowledge of me at all whatsoever, you go right along with that information. That seems pretty weak-minded. More importantly, you let your personal feelings, not even personal feelings, because someone planted them there for you to believe. But you let these feelings cause you to lose money? Think about this. It made you hold something that you knew you wanted to sell quicker than you knew who wanted to buy it. Personal feelings stopped you from a business deal. That is the definition of a terrible businessman, period. But it's just business, it's nothing personal. And I guess that particular designer knows how gullible and stupid some people really are. And I'm even more offended how unintelligent one could be. Cause you're basically telling me I'm trying to buy something that you accuse me I'm able to just take? Yeah, I believe that's what I said. Then he said, see, you proved it. Nah, Scott, I just proved how mushy your brain is. Like in Goodfellas. Stop with those fucking drugs, they're making your mind into mush, you hear me? You meathead. Dinosaur joke. But it's not personal for me, because it's not true, and I could laugh it off. And I'm saying all that to say to Slicey Dicey, I've always watched and respected your channel, but the facts are the facts. And after walking a straight line, even rejuvenating and building up the same brand that tried to in turn destroy my credibility, it's kind of the same thing here. From what I've researched, you've only damaged the people that tried to support you in the first place. And your reasons why are again personal and don't really matter. What matters is the effect left behind. You see, I sold quite a few pieces within the past couple of weeks and every customer sent me the money first and everyone got their shit. I'm positive everyone knew who I was before purchase. See, people have been and still sending things for review. The point I'm trying to make is the community is for the most part untainted and I'm speaking to the consumer side of things. Built on borrow, buy and trade, not barter. Trusting people who send off 500, sometimes thousand dollar knives just for others to experience and possibly pick one up if they like it, but nothing really more. That's what people look to you and your channel for. And once they feel slash know you way at the top of the food chain will dig them around. Who the hell's going to trust Joe Blow from up the street and around the corner? The whole ecosystem starts to deteriorate at that very moment. I mean, it already started, honestly. How many people have said, I borrowed this, or he sent me X night, and after giving it back, I just had to get one. And then that person becomes a lifetime customer of that brand, in turn influencing his buddies to the same brand. 
what about the sponsors, companies and makers who now say, if Slicey will do it, I'm not issuing any more units to channels. The lower guy on the totem pole gets the shiv. Channels that can't afford to buy all the knives or contents, but fall into your weight. It's all bad from every aspect. And really, it's not about you or your channel. There's no chicken or egg question here. Although you can influence, the people are in control. The community provides the numbers that give you the keys to unlock the doors between the corporation and the community. So while you can cause damage, the public can destroy you by just not showing back up. And I think everyone should understand who really holds the power in the situation. And just as I asked of that designer, I'll ask from you. The complete and total truth. Just once. Not for anything other than the community to not take this massive hit. Everyone's not going to agree on one side, and that split will draw a line between the people. So you can simply erase that same line with the complete truth. And what I mean by truth is like, if you already sold something or you can't get it back or it's gone, just say that and then people can't keep inquiring about it. Which as you see, it will come out either way. Only difference will be, do you own it by fully claiming it? Or does it own you by more and more negative shit surfacing every time you put a positive foot forward? And I really hope you don't just disappear and lay low leaving the followers to fight the good fight for you. Because I believe my situation made a lot more people unwilling to be just used as pawns and swallow anything put out. My appreciation goes out to the people who stand up to whoever it is that's wrong, no matter what the odds look like. And also to those who feel like someone lying to them isn't saying anything more than I think you are a plum idiot. And I can tell you whatever the fuck I want because I'm smarter than you.